We are heading to Montana. We leave in Colorado, and we're heading over to Jackie Bushman's place here at Cottonwood Creek, here in, uh, right up here on the Yellowstone River. We've been uh, in the mountains, up and down mountains, up and down mountains, and rough hunt, great hunt, but we're coming over here totally different. You hunt a little bit in the morning, hunt a little bit in the evening, and you do a lot of eating and watching football or whatever in the middle of the day. If you remember a couple years ago, I shot a really good one right there in the Yellowstone Canal. So hoping to come in here. I just talked to Elliot a little bit ago. They got some really good deer. Jackie has already shot a upper 50s type deer, which is a really big deer for this area. So, you know, we're hoping to come in here and get on a good mature buck, get our first whitetail kill of the year. Kind of a rough hunt in Colorado. Getting ready this morning. One thing on my mind, I want to shoot my bow down here. We're going to find a place to throw out a target and shoot my bow. Just give me some confidence before we head to the woods. It's just low. Here we go. Montana 2017. sitting in a tree in the river bottoms right here by the Yellowstone River. It's become one of my favorite places to hunt. I shot a really good buck in the Yellowstone Canal a couple years ago and last year. I, right in this area, right over here, I had a buck uh, that Jacob Landry ended up shooting uh, that I called Curly that I was after. I almost killed him over here, but a coyote got me. Yeah, it's him in front. 
the one in front. I, oh, I see some deer right now. Yeah, they, there's a, that's a buck closest to us in the big bucks in front. Morning's pretty much over. It's coming on 9 o'clock. I got an area here with a broadhead that I've been shooting. And I'm just going to take this time to, to shoot it right here. I got a leaf picked out down there at 30 yards. I shot this morning, and uh, my bow was shooting just a little bump low and left, and I just shot out a tree stand that's low and left. So I got to go shoot my bows. You know, I, I, I got to high altitude, and I shot them the other day, and I had to adjust them. And now, you know, so I don't know. I just know we've been traveling. I probably need to go shoot my bow. Bottom left, starting to get this thing dialed in a little bit. Uh, getting, you know, these broadheads, making sure they're on. We're sitting on a barley field, beautiful, beautiful. Got turkeys all out there so far. And this is a canal coming off the Yellowstone River. This is actually right over here is where I shot my uh, buck a few years ago. So I'm optimistic about tonight. I believe we'll see a good deer. I really do. Oh, there's a buck already coming out there on the barley. That's a good sign. It's early. Come right out of that canal. got back to the truck and basically what I've seen all day today is I've seen deer, big bucks go up that certain line that they went up the, the year before. I gotta talk to Jack. I'm just gonna go back and talk to Jack, see if we can't get a set hung right there and maybe be able to catch these deer before they go back in the swamps going to bed in the mornings. Well that that, that between from... Dan's and Brian's yes. is yes. all last year. Yes. And that's the gen where that buck was at. Yeah. So there you go. That's the only place we don't have a stand. That if we put one there, we'll have everything covered. One thing about it is, I don't think we're in the right place even in the morning, but instead of going and hanging the set tonight, I think what we'll do is just we're going to get in a tree that's fairly close to where I think, I mean, probably within three, 400 yards of where I think the deer are, observe and then pinpoint and then go in and hang a set midday. It's a little chilly this morning. It's about 42 degrees, but we got a good wind blowing, which is perfect. We were actually sitting about 300 yards back this way yesterday, and we spotted some bucks this way, some shooters. So we've moved over. It's just cat and mouse. It's almost, you just gotta pick the right trail. The deer are here, the bucks are here. This morning is ideal for this river bottom hunting. We got a perfect wind. We had a perfect access from the back door. About a half a mile this way, so um, sets up really nice for us. It's a good bug. Two good bugs. I don't think that's 
kid on these one bucks, and I, I didn't see him this morning. We had six, eight little bucks come by. I keep pointing back this way. From last year, there's a line over there that bucks, good bucks, keep walking. Now we're sitting on big trails where they can purge right here. It's awesome, but there's trails everywhere. So I'm gonna go with what I've been seeing. And so I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna pick out a tree. I got it marked right here. And I'm gonna walk straight to it. We're gonna hang a set in it today. Be there in the morning, uh, Lord willing, and if the wind's right. But definitely, that's the most consistent place on every time I've ever been to Jackie's where big bucks walk in the morning. So we gotta get a set on here. This is the tree I got marked. It came right through here somewhere. It's a big old tree though. It, it ain't got a lot of cover. But. Well guys made a plan. I uh, saw them bucks come up that same area like they've been doing. Pinpoint at that tree and that's what you have to do. So now we're going in to the kill. I mean we're going to go into the tree that we think make that adjustment. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is we're gonna hang this set midday and then I'm just gonna get out there and be real careful with where I put my footprints. But I'm not gonna hunt these deer in the evening because I haven't seen them, observed them in the evening. I've observed them in the morning, so we're gonna hang it, get out, come back in the morning, and hopefully we'll be waiting for them when they come back to bed. Day three up here in Montana. We're in that set that we moved yesterday, so excited we got about five trails coming together here and more than that i've seen this twice and from a distance and big bucks have come right through here so uh, there's a 10 point uh real dark horn probably 130 class deer that we moved in on right here all right i am at the tree and i want to go through some things that that help me with this hunt Number one, I always go back to the wind and the access. This morning we drove around, we had a back door in, we had a wind in our face. We were hunting other sets and we were hunting trails, but I was keeping my glasses busy. I was looking afar and two different days from five, 600 yards, we saw good bucks come up through here, especially this one, this flat top 10, I called him. From there, I adjusted. I went and got me an X stand. We come in and we hung this set. Now, when we come in and hung it, I was careful not to walk around. I just want it to come into the tree, the footprints behind it, get up, hang the set. shoot a buck. It's just awesome. I mean, don't matter if you're Montana, Oklahoma, Kansas, Iowa, it doesn't matter. When you shoot a buck with a bow and arrow, especially, there's nothing like it. 
When I got in this morning, I pulled back my bow like I always do, right when it gets daylight. I made sure that I could shoot that way. But then I turned in this tree and pulled back, make sure my, my safety harness was gonna be okay. Make sure I could shoot out this way that wasn't comfortable. And to me, that was a big key because all of a sudden now you got a buck coming up in the wrong place you're comfortable, you can range him, you can pull back and know that you already did that that morning. So those are big time key things that'll help you just like they always help me. Yeah, that's the way you're supposed to look right there. Look at that. Always like looking at these, look at that old Willie feet. Look at that. My goodness, my goodness. Look at the velvet hanging off of him right here. Look at the eye guards. My goodness, what a just a beautiful animal. He's got matching little kickers right here and he's got some stickers coming off. The velvet hanging, he's a mainframe 10 with really good eye guards. Golly, it's a pretty, pretty buck. Man, I tell you though, it got daylight this morning. I didn't hardly see nothing. I thought, man, I hope this don't get away from me. this third day. And then all of a sudden we look up and here he comes. And... Well, Elliot was watching play by play up mm -hmm. here in the spot and stuff. But you know, you've been here a few times. You just got to sit a few stands and just see where they're going. And that was the only tree line we said we, we needed to stand on that tree line. We've been talking for years right. to get it. You finally went and put one in it. Well, and the tree wasn't easy, yeah, but, but, but it was in the right place. We got it up and uh, 36 yard shot. God be the glory, I tell you what, praise God, uh, just for allowing us to be able to hunt whitetail, create whitetail, and um, giving us the hope that really matters in this world. Well guys, welcome to this week's Walk by Faith. Um, today I wanna to turn to the Old Testament, Jeremiah 29, 13, real simple verse. It says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. And you know, so many times, whatever we're doing, you know, we teach our, our kids to play ball or as we played ball or as, you know, I, I rodeoed and roped and all that. You know, I remember dad always saying, you, you can't do nothing if you don't put all your heart into it. What can you expect if you're not putting all your heart into it? And you know what? I look around today, myself included, and I see us Christians, we put our little foot in or, or we try to do this a little bit, but then we're still living our own way. But we expect God's major blessings. And you know, that's really not how it works. You know, this world isn't about us, it's about Him, our Savior, who died on a cross for our sins, who suffered not only physically, but mentally. So I just tell myself daily to seek Him, as His Word says, with all of my heart. And you know what? Then I can receive the blessings that God has for me, and you can too. Remember, as we always say, shoot by sight, walk by faith.